Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video, I want us to discuss the things that you need to understand for you to be able to master Excel and work like a pro. This is a, a beginner's guide and you do not need to have any prior experience in working in uh, Excel. And I hope you are ready. So let's get started. So I have Microsoft Excel 2016 open and this is the screen that greets me when I open Excel and to this left side here I have a button written home and this is where I can be able to access all this information about templates and the recent files that have I had opened. And then there's a button written new and that button is used when you want to create a new excel workbook later in this video we will discuss what is an excel workbook and how to create one and down here there is a button written open and this still is a command that you can use to be able to access the workbooks and folders that are stored in your computer and be able to open one of them for you to start customizing and and, and using Excel. Now I'll go back to the Home tab and let us discuss something about a templates. Our templates uh, a very good starting point for someone who is not very conversant with the how, how to work in Microsoft Excel. For example, if you are looking at creating an expense report, you can be able to choose from this expense template and use that template which already has a, a pre-made uh, information that you can customize and edit so for it to be able to suit your specific needs and requirements but now for me to be able to explain to you better how to use excel or for you to understand better how to use excel we need to create a blank workbook that means i am not going to use a template in this tutorial so I will click on this here, a blank workbook and Excel is going to create a new workbook for me. So there are a few things or a few terminologies that you should understand before we go on with this tutorial. And the first thing is tabs. When you the tab is these things that are up here. So we have a home tab, we have an insert tab, we have a page layout tab, we have a formulas tab, we have a data tab, we have a review tab and the rest. So, and below those tabs is a ribbon. Now when you click on the home tab, this that appears here is the home ribbon. When you go to the view tab, this is the view ribbon. And below the ribbons, or the ribbons are made up of uh, groups. There are groups of commands that are used to perform closely related functions. And if you are at the home, the first ribbon is clipboard. The second, um, not only really the first ribbon, but the home ribbon has a clipboard, which is the first group. The second group here is the font, alignment, number, style, cells, 
and editing now the groups contain uh, commands or other options that we can use when we are working in Microsoft Excel and for us sometimes if you are using Excel sometimes there is a group like uh, the, let me give an example of this cell and styles you notice that every information is fitting on uh, the space that is available for that group but if you come to an example of a group such as this font you notice there is a drop down button here or, or uh, a launch button that if you click on it will be able to open more commands and options for you to choose to be able to use them when you are creating your excel um, data and and the likes let's click on ok and discuss another very important thing here now excel workbook is made up of things that are called sheets now if you look at the bottom part here i have sheet one active and I, if i wanted to add another sheet i will go to this plus button and click on it then i will have sheet number two click on it again i will have sheet number three so i go back to sheet number one so a collection of these sheets is what forms a workbook and a sheet is made up of rows and columns now rows have a horizontal um, alignment that is to say that uh, the rows run horizontally like i have here row number one row number two row number three row number four number five etc and columns run vertically so the columns like column number a column number b column c column d which runs vertically now if you look closely columns and and rows usually have an intersection and the intersection of a column and a row is what is called in a excel a cell like if i click on this cell you notice that it is an intersection of column b and row c now for for us to be able to manipulate cells and move a long way in using data that is contained in a cell we need to be able to name a specific cell and cells are named by giving them a column reference number and a, and a row reference number so for us this cell will be cell b3 this cell here will be cell d6 i hope that is clear and you can now be able to name a cell by giving it a column reference and a row reference number so column d and row 6 intersect to form cell d6 column e and row 7 intersect to form cell e7 now having understood what a cell is and how to name a cell we go on to discussing another thing and this is a range now what is a range in microsoft excel a range is a group of cells so if we take 
cell C5 this way to cell F6 this is a group of cells and it qualifies to be called a range now this is also a range this is still a range and having discussed that I want us to to then be able to know how to name a range of cells now a range of cells is first given the top the, 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 the name of uh, the top left cell which in our case here is this cell and this is cell C4 so you name it this way C4 through the name of the bottom right cell and this is the bottom right cell which is E7 so the name of our range will be C4 through E7. Now how would we write that in uh, Excel? So let me go to this formula here and I'll write for you E. Sorry we start with the C4 which is the top left cell reference the room E7 which is the bottom right cell reference now having discussed that we can now be able to um, name ranges or a range which is a group of cells in uh, Microsoft Excel now we have discussed the structure of a, a, work, a worksheet. We've looked at what a tab is, the various tabs that are there, ribbons, groups, the launch buttons, columns and rows, cells and cell names, range, which is a group of cells, and how to name a range. We've also looked at a workbook which is a collection of uh, the sheets that we create in Microsoft Excel. Now, I want us to discuss a few other things and I'll start by creating or uh, doing a small uh, data entry. And I'll start by cell A1. I want to create a table which contains the name of my students and their percentage scores so I, I, I will uh, type the title of this will be end end term examination results so for the first column I will write I'll type name of student and you notice if I want to move to the next cell in the same row for me to input data I can use tab and, and tab move, moves me to once the right so if I use shift tab I'll move to the left and if I wanted to move down once, I can use enter to move down once. And for me to move upwards, I can, I will use shift, enter. And this is not the only way to do it. If you look at your keyboard, you have some arrow keys. There's an arrow key that moves up, the other one moves down, the other one moves to the left, and another one moves to the right. So you can still use those to navigate between the cells and it will be very simple for you it's also easy if you are using a mouse you can move and click on the cell that you want to input your data and so 
for this cell I want to write the percentage score and the first name is so allow me to type the names so I have a table that contains the name of the student and their percentage scores and I want to show you a few things on how to edit the, 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 the cells or the table so that is it is it, it starts looking aesthetically appealing so I will start with the header here I want to put it as bold so I will select this cell go to the home and there is a group called font and here is the bold alternatively you can use control and B on your keyboard and to give you the same results then um, if you want to underline the text you still can select the cell and go up here to underline this puts it at as italics and the rest you can also change the color of of of, uh, of the title like if you go to this button here there's a whole range of shades of colors that are available for you to make a choice from and this paint bucket here is useful for you if you want to change the background color of your cell so i hope you've gotten something from that and if you go to cell a2 here you will notice that I have typed name of student and this does not appear full in the cell so it's not a big problem but you know you might want to stretch this cell for it to show the complete text that you've typed so to do that I'll go to the intersection of column A and column B and make sure that your arrow shows your, your, your cursor now shows a plus with multi, uh, double arrows to the, to the left and to the right I will click on that and then you can drag it until your text appears fully now there is an easier way of doing that you can just highlight the cell then go to this intersection and double click and you notice this this that this column mm, the cells have uh, stretched to be able to fit the text that we had typed now I want to put this title at the center and I want to merge this cell and the, that is cell A1 and cell B1 so what am I going to do I will highlight them then I'll go on the home tab and in the alignment group I'll choose this option merge and center and that is what happens when I do that the same thing with the the column headings like num name of student and the percentage score I will highlight them and then I want them to be bold and just bold without an underline or the italics so that's how you can uh, do some editing and you can be able to 
manipulate excel to achieve whatever you want to achieve this uh, in excel sometimes you have a lot of data that you've you've, you've entered in the spreadsheet and sometimes we want to scroll down and you notice that there is this heading gets lost when you, when you scroll so much so there is an option of uh, freezing paints which for me I want row 1 row number 1 and row 2 to be sticky at the top when I scroll so what do I do I go to the cell or, or rather the row below those two cells and I light it this way and then when I have done that I'll go to the view tab and activate the view um, ribbon and then from the view ribbon there is this window here and you can see freeze paints option so click and you get three options of freeze paints freeze top row freeze first column and if you click on freeze top row what happens is row number one which is the top row will only be frozen and the rest will be like that but now what i want is i want this row and this other row both to be frozen so i'll i like this go to view and then up here in friends i'll do uh, friends paints so you notice that now when you scroll that this and this other row appears up there as sticky headers and that will be very helpful for you if you have a lot of data that you've entered in your worksheet and you want to scroll up to the last data entry in uh, that sheet i want i want you to show i want to show you something very simple here now when you have a number of worksheets that you are working on you can be able to navigate or switch between ta uh, between sheets by just clicking on that sheet and it will take you to the next sheet so if i want to go to sheet 2 i'll come down here and click sheet 2 if i want to go back to sheet 1 i'll come back here down on sheet 1 and click on it now uh, let's say i wanted to give a specific sheet a specific name so i'll go to the sheet down there i'll right click and then choose rename and then i'll call this this sheet test scores and i'll click out and the name will appear down there now it's a very easy way of managing data using excel and i hope you are learning something the last thing that i want to show you in a this tutorial is how to edit a text or any given data in a cell now let's say in cell a3 i wanted to let's say this is how and i had written the name with two m's and i want to rectify that now you notice there is something called clicking on a cell so if you click just once using your mouse you are now on a cell or if you try to type anything it replaces everything that you had typed in the cell lastly so that is not what i want so i'll click escape button on the keyboard and it, it will take me back so what am i supposed to do i am supposed to be in a cell for me to be able to edit the contents of that cell so i go to the cell and double click and when i double click you can see now a cursor 
that has placed itself there blinking and I can be able to move between the, 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 the text and I can delete any unnecessary letters and check enter and that's okay now if you're trying to do something in Excel and you don't know what you what option you are supposed to use you can come here on top in the blue ribbon there's, there's this button we read and tell me what you want to do and if you click on it you can say mm, I want to make my text bold so you this option will come here you click on it it, it it reflects in the cell that you had selected so it's a very easy way of searching for the commands that you want to apply on your cell and it will be a very great way of you to be able to learn the basics of excel without having to strain a lot now i hope this video has been very helpful it is a simple beginners video that is showing you the basics that you need to understand for you to be able to start working in Excel and just as a recap we have looked at the structure of Excel we have discussed what are tabs ribbons groups what is a launch button what are rows and columns what is a cell and how to name a cell what is a range and how to name a range what is a worksheet and lastly a workbook and how to do a few editings for us to be able to come up with the best layout of our data thank you for watching this video and i hope you will consider subscribing to my youtube channel until next time keep learning